Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas alongside Johnny Hendricks, who meets Kelvin Gastelum this Saturday at UFC 200. And Johnny, I got to say, I took a double take. Yep. I looked at you twice. I didn't recognize you. It's fight week. What happened to the beard? Yeah, I had to shave it off, man. It was too hot. When Tech, did you have it? Uh, I had it all the way up until Monday. Monday, I looked at my wife and uh, Lewis, and I said, hey, should I shave it? I mean, I've talked about it for a week now. Uh, and he was like, I, I think, and my wife said yes. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? All right, I'll shave it. Uh, and shaved it, and man, I feel so much better. Really? Oh, man, uh, because my face was hot, uh, you know, from training and, you know, sweat and all that kind of stuff. Even though you wash it, it's still a big, thick beard, right? So uh, now I'm sort of, I also feel a little bit lighter. <laughs> it's a little jarring, but you know what? I like the the symbol that it represents. This is part of a new Johnny well, Hendricks, yeah, right? Well, it's a new chapter. Well, and you know what? I talked about this. I said, okay, when I first started growing the beard, who had a beard? Uh, um, Kimbo Slice. Okay, Kimbo Slice. Who else? You're saying you're yeah. the one, you're the trendsetter. No, well, I don't know, but like, I, I know Take that. Take the credit. I, hey, I know I took it off of somebody. And, okay. uh, a, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, uh, Evan. Spider? Evan. Oh, Evan Tanner. Yes, yes, Evan Tanner. He had it. And he, whenever he died, I was like, nobody else had a beard. I was like, I should rock one. Okay. You know what I mean? Rock it. And I started rocking it. And then now, I mean, look at even my division. Everybody's got a yeah. beard. I'm like, dude, come on now. See, they zig, you zag. Exactly. So now I'm going back to clean shave. I, like I don't, it. I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be what everybody else is. I like it. You've been in athletics for a very long time. Uh, you've had your highs. Obviously, you were a champion. You had your lows. Where would February rank for you? That fight against Wonder Boy was that one of your more disappointing nights as an athlete, not just MMA, but just <laughs> as an athlete? athlete uh, yeah, I'd rank up there high. And the reason why is because I, I you know, I think it was. It was so much my fault, meaning that I got focused on winning by impressive, impressive win, impressive win, impressive win. That's all I hear these days. How are you going to win? Are you going to knock them out? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? Are you going to be old Johnny? I'm like, guys, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be. I, I just know that I enjoy this sport, and that's what I'm getting back to. You know, I got so caught up in, hey, I got to finish everybody. I got to do this. I got to do that. Well, guess what? I don't have to do anything. I, I, could, I could literally go out there and wrestle him down, hold him down for 15 minutes and win, right? Yeah. Is that going to be exciting? No. But I want to do it my way, and I want to have fun my way. And I think, I, I think this is the opportunity to, for me to step back out there and showcase uh, I'm done looking for knockouts. If it comes... I'll never stop looking for it. I'm always going to look for the finish, but I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do it. All I'm going to say is I'm prepared for 15 minutes, and it's going to be the worst 15 minutes of his life. And you appear to be in great spirits. I saw you linked up with the uh, Lutrition, the yes. world famous. So everything's going well as far as the weight cut is concerned. <laughs> You've got that all under control. Yeah, the weight cut's going good. Uh, tomorrow I should be lo only losing three pounds. Okay. Wow. So I'm pretty excited about that. So it's not going to be, you know, last fight camp. I was I was down on Wednesday and down on thir or excuse me Thursday and Friday. This time I think we planned it better. Uh, I need to do a little bit more on the off season my end, uh, but I think I think we we we've got it nailed down to where the next fight camp is going to be even easier. Okay. But it's also going to be where I can stay heavier a little bit longer, drink more, eat more. You know what I mean? Keep my body fueled better. Uh, and that's where, where we're at. Final question. If, when you win on Saturday night, will you go on that microphone and say, George St. Pierre, we have unfinished business. You're coming back. I should be the first guy to fight you. Will you say that? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. We'll see. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be something? You know, like I said, July. So at 630, whenever my fight's over with, yes. then I can start thinking about other things. Fair enough. Until then, it's only Kelvin. Well, it is great to see you hey, with or without yourself. the beard. Yeah. Best of luck on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, thank you very much.